Hello everybody, this is Fino, and today we are back with some more Duelist. And I said I was going to do it, and we're going to do it. We're going to do a draft. I'm terrified of going back into the gauntlet. Um, because the, la the first few times I did it, it didn't go very well. It was pretty rough. It was pretty rough. Um, oh, we got so many options. Um, I feel like he's going to be really hard to make work. I found some bonus of these in my fridge, by the way. It's so nice. So nice. Um, she might be the best option. Because she can heal up her own minions. Um, but at the same time, Vath might be pretty good because he can buff himself and become quite a terror on the board. Um, yeah, let's go with Vath. I feel like Vath is the proper option here. Big green dragon. All right, so we've got Swamp Entangler, Earth Sphere, and Amu. I think Amu is the better pick. In here, we have ourselves give a friendly minion plus two plus two. Komodo Charger, also a pretty nice low cost minion. Um, but no effect. So we're going to go with Greater Fortitude. Alright. Oh no. Cascading Rebirth. Destroy a friendly minion to summon a random Magmar minion that costs one more. Restore eight health. Opening Gambit. Put a random battle pet into your action bar. Um, three costs four, two. It's not bad. Um. Yeah, I'm going to grab him. For that minion value. Um. Give a friendly uh, Dance of Dreams. Whenever friendly minion dies this turn, draw a card. Card draw for this might be pretty good. Um, but at the same time, Primordial Gaze is also G Gazer is pretty good. Um, he can buff a minion with two two, uh, making some pretty powerful minions. I'm gonna go with Primordial Gazer. I feel it's the better option. Saber Spine. Obvious pick. Not even going to question it. Um, I would love to know when I'm done here. When you guys are done with the video, please let me know how you think I did for the draft overall. Um, it's going to help me in the long term um, become better. Uh, so that, Endure the Beast Lands. Whenever you summon a minion with opening gambit from your action bar, gain plus one attack. Well, what do we have so far? One, two. Opening gambit, this minion fights a nearby minion. Um... I feel like this is pretty solid. Um, he doesn't gain health, so he's still only he's still gonna trade similarly. So we're gonna grab Lava Slasher. All right, opening Gambit. All friendly minions gain plus one attack, including self. Choose an enemy minion; it can no longer counterattack. That could be good too. Um, hatch a friendly egg. No. I think Thrayx is who we go with. All right. We've got the epics. So we have opening gambit. Put a copy of your most recently cast spell into your action bar. And then we've got Bloodsworn Gambler. Each time this minion attacks, has a 50% chance to attack again. And then we've got Ryzen. Whenever your opponent summons a minion, this minion summons an egg of itself nearby. Um, that's pretty cool. You'd have to at least trigger it once or twice, but we're going to grab him. He's a, he's a very tricky one, I think, to get right. At the start of your turn, deal four damage. So he's really good. Um, but he costs a lot, and he's very unstable. He could kill us, potentially. He could... Um, I don't feel he's worth the downside. Um, I like God Hammer. Blood Rage. Give a friendly minion plus one, one for each damage that was dealt this turn. Earthwalker. Rex. Let's go with Rex. Little Rex the Dragon. All right. Legendary options. We've got whenever a friendly battle pet dies, draw a card. Whenever your opponent draws a card, this minion gains plus two, plus two. That's good. Whenever you summon Mechazor, put a Mechazor in your action bar. Not able to pull that off, so we're going to grab Vindicator. 
Um, destroy any minion with the lowest attack. That's some good board removal. We've got your general becomes 10-10. That is really nice. Steal a random minion from your opponent's deck and summon it. Put a copy of a random spell you cast this game into your action bar. I'm going to go with Bloodbound. We don't have anything really high. And I think that's a good way. Like, if our general is weak, we can buff him back up. Um, there's a lot of options with it. Stun an enemy and give your general plus one attack. Um, that's not bad. I like that. Let's grab that. More legendaries. All right. So we've got Evolutionary Apex. Both players put all minions in their action bars onto the battlefield near their general. Um, whenever you replace a card, summon a 2-2 prisoner with a random ability nearby. That's pretty good. Opening Gambit. Add two random cards from your faction to your action bar. Um, I, I think I like the Inquisitor Kron more. Because he comes with the Provoke as well. Let's grab him. Give a friendly minion plus one attack in Frenzy. Or we've got Colossus. Um, we're looking... What do we got? We got 11 minions and four spells. Let's grab um, the Dire Tide Frenzy. We need some lower cost minions. Uh, Plasma Storm is pretty okay that's a pretty good card give a friendly minion plus two plus two also pretty good let's grab one of them that's two of them for total so far uh phalanxer all right rares your next gauntlet card choices destroy an enemy minion with ranged cannot be attacked uh let's go with fortune shaper he's a fairly balanced card he's just two 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 three with no card text Thunderhorn. Whenever this minion damages an enemy, it also damages all joined enemies. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool card. Uh, Twilight Sorcerer, we've already seen. Summon an egg that hatches into a copy of your general. Um, eggs are really hard to pull off properly, I think. Um, I'm going to go with Thunderhorn. Tiger all the way. Um, we need some provoke. I'll gladly take some provoke. All right. Um, I'm going to go with the blaze sound, I think. Again, card draw during gauntlet is going to be helpful, even though we do give them some. War pup. Oh my god, that's super adorable. Force field and frenzy. Um, legendary neutral cards. Three cost three three. Yeah, let's go with Future Shaker. Get some legendaries. Alright, what do we got here? We've got Keeper of the Veil. Summon a friendly non-token minion destroyed this game. We've got Dagona. Opening Gambit Devour. Any minion anywhere. Dying Wish. Spit out the devoured minion on this space. And we got Lady Lock. Provoke. Opening Gambit. Other minions you summon this turn. Gain plus one plus one and provoke. Um, I think we go with Lady Lock. Get some Provoke out on the board. And free buffs. Um, it's for one turn, correct? Where's Lady Lock? Where'd she go? Isn't she only two cost? Oh, she's three cost. Okay. So she's a higher turn cost card, but could still be very good. Opening Gambit, put a Boulder Hurl into your action bar. Whenever an enemy attacks this minion, gain plus three attack until the end of your turn. Let's grab Rex. Um, I'm going to go with Plasma Storm this time. Got another frog. I'm going to grab another frog. Only two more cards. Um... Both players draw three cards, deal three damage to both generals. If the next card you play this turn is a minion, it costs two less and takes two damage. Uh, let's grab another legendary card for our final pull. 
Whenever this minion takes damage, summon a random near token minion nearby. We don't have anything that high. I'm going to go with the Chimera. Let's do it. So I do realize like most of our content's probably already styled out like a draft. I load up, I make a deck, and then we play the deck and see how it does. Um, it's not really all that bad. Let's swap out one of him and one of him. All right. So we can replace him, move forward. Drop Mr. Rexy Rex and end our turn. Let's see how we can do. I don't know how many you have to win in Duelist for it to get like Um, you know, for you to actually get powerful. So let's see what we can make happen. I, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good about what we're going to have go down here. That was interesting. Uncool. I worked really hard on that card. Um, is that the start of my turn or at the end of my turn? How do eggs work? Well, we did that poorly. So now it's time to run away. Run away, run away. That's a really good card. I actually like that card quite a bit. Could have a future place in my wall deck that we're going to put together tomorrow. That could be pretty good. Sorry, Rex. Rock Pulverizer. Yuck. Yucky, yuck, yuck. Oh, no. Ah, oh, you bastard. Um, I 
Die. Die. Ugh, I don't have anything worthy of playing. Oh no. Ah! That's a scary card. All right. Um I need one more mana to pull anything off. He's got me locked. He's got me locked down. I can't get away. I wasn't ready, guys. I was not ready for this. Can you ever truly be ready? All he's gonna do is like figure out how to deal like one damage to me or some crazy shit. Oh no, he's so powerful. Welp, that is a whole lot of I'm screwed. I'd love to know if you guys think I could have won that one. I don't think it was possible. And don't make up some like crazy story about how I could have like flown to the moon and grabbed this card. Uh -uh. I know you guys wouldn't do that, but I don't know. I feel like that's the only way I could have won that. That was pretty bad. That was brutal. Why didn't I get a Vinar pick? I would have loved to have played Vinar. These guys all got Vinar. All right, let's purge him and him. Definitely would have loved to play some Fae. All right. Okay, let's figure out what we want to do. No. Grab the mana first, then drop this buddy. Should be able to start seeing some stuff out of him really quickly. You son of a bit, don't you do it! Ah. I don't understand how you play Gauntlet and manage to successfully get perfect counters for everything. How does that even work? Why didn't he just attack the battle pet?
Um. Can an egg gain health? That is the question. All right, battle pet, don't let me down. I'm putting a lot of faith in you, Mr. Five Five. All right, let's see what he does. Or she, could be a she. I'm sure it's a she. All right, Amu. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. Like, he could go. That could be something he could do. He's not going to attack the egg. He's going to let the egg survive. Which means Rex comes back. What are you going to do? Are you going to let Rex come back? come back let Rex come back do it no Rexy you son of a Ugh. how how do these people get the perfect counters for shit? So this is a pretty scary card. But of course he has the perfect card to take it down. I mean, why wouldn't he? We, we, it's not like the card allocation for draft is completely random. I mean, it makes complete and total sense. I have to carry. I don't want to use Kitty. Now would be a bad time to use Kitty. Rough, rough. Apologies if the dog is coming through the microphone. Well, that's terrifying. Well, he is lethal. I was doing so well. I don't understand. I don't. I don't get it. We we had him. We had him in our miss mitts, like, and he had the perfect cards. Can you guys let me know in the comment section down below if like shit like that happens where you actually get perfect drafts like 
He had three chromatic golds. Three chromatic golds. Like, that's just what he played. It's like a perfect... <laughs> that's going to drive me nuts to see something like that. And we still almost beat him. And then he dropped this legendary god card that gave him 17 damage on the board. <sighs> this is a whole bunch of blah. I like that we have double kitty. I don't know what to do about that thing up there growing. All right. Um Five mana available. So I'm not really sure. What I'm going to do. We have a decent hand for some like murder damage. I think the grow cards got to go, which is going to be really easy if he brings it close to me, which he's doing. Hopefully Rex knows what to do here. Rex is gonna die. Why would he still use that? Huh. Alright, so we have five mana. So. Hit my general with your replace. Do it. Don't hit my little birdie. Leave my birdie alone. Yes! That is a very powerful card. That is a very powerful card. I don't know if I can deal with that. I have... Well, shit. Um... Yeah, I can't deal with it. I don't have...
I don't have enough to be able to extinguish him. If I drop him, he'll die. Um, best I could do. All right. Well, it's looking like it's going to be a bad week for us, folks. We shouldn't. We, we weren't ready. We weren't ready for the draft. Ugh. I feel like you guys were just starting to watch me get fairly decent at the game. And then what do I do? I go bite off way more than I can chew. That card is insane. It's such a good card. I don't have... I don't have enough. I have seven. So... Drop him. Stun him. And then drop him. Kill that. End our turn. We don't have enough to kill him. But I think we might have enough to potentially turn this around. Unless he kills him with one shot, which... Why wouldn't he have the perfect counter for in his hand? Gauntlet is brutal. This is brutal. GG. Why are you still playing cards? Just kill me. Don't be a dick about it. Nobody likes these people. Just finish it. Are you kidding me? Oh, he was stunned. Never mind. He's not kidding me. I'm just going... I'm getting a little anxious because he killed me. Goodbye. Well, we weren't ready. The only thing that was ready was my body. But the audience, the player, we weren't good. It was bad. It was brutal. Claim rewards. Yay. What's it give me for zero wins? Was it worth 150 gold? No. Yes. Now it makes it worth it. That's not bad. I'll take that. I'll take a free spirit orb. Thank you, game. I'm getting the hell out of there. Whew. Gauntlet is brutal in this one. Click the orb. I usually like playing, like, the draft modes because it puts both players on an even playing field. Um... Nope. I'm I'm still way too inexperienced for the current curve in that. So we got ourselves Twin Strike. We got ourselves Ghost Links. Crystal Wisp. Inner Oasis. Give all friendly minions plus three health and draw a card for Vitruvian. And Razorback. Opening Gambit. Give all friendly minions plus two attack this turn. Pretty solid. Not, not too bad. Well, it's a shorter one today, but... It wasn't bad. Well, yeah, it was. I'm not going to lie. It was awful. It was really bad. If I had more time, I would redo it. If I had more gold, I would redo it. But I don't. And I promised you guys a draft. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Give it a share. And I will see you all tomorrow for our two-hour long episode. Pack opening. New Venar deck. And we're going to crank it out. Thank you all very much. And as always, till the next video. Hello there. Thank you for making it to the end of my video. If you enjoyed the content here, why don't you watch something next over there on that little box? Or if you want to check out something new, why don't you check the recommended feed on right there? 
And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed the video you just got done watching, why don't you bop that little ghost right below me on the face as hard as you can and hit the subscribe button. Thank you all very much for your continued support. And as always, till the next video.